Welcome fans, it's Drop from Explominate here today with Industries of Titan, which is a like base building game. It's got a lot of like weird hybrid gameplay elements, and it is set on the moon Titan. Imagine that. And there's some few there's a few weird things about it. It's different, right? And I wanted to kind of go over it just as a little bit. I did a Twitch stream of it a while ago. I wanted to revisit it a little bit just to kind of see where it was. I've gone through like a lot of the tutorial portion in order to avoid all that kind of like overlap because that's what I did with the Twitch stream before. And honestly, everybody could jump in and do the tutorial stuff. So what the tutorial goes over is how to what to build and how you can use the stuff inside buildings to basically like create more buildings and stuff. You know, there's right here this conversion capsule. This is something that converts your citizens into employees and then you can monetize them monetize them monetize them with like facebook ads that you inject directly into their brain and it's like this like crazy dystopian future where everybody's miserable and you're trying to make a lot of money on other moons i have gone to the portion of the game where i feel like you know uh let's see here not enough fuel so how do we we're gonna we're gonna need more fuel still not online because it's not got enough energy so it needs more fuel let's see what we can do to get more fuel out of it so we're going to we're gonna come over here and perhaps go to the second floor here Combat floor disabled for... Okay. Floor level one. Fuel tank here. Fuel fabricator. Still need more fuel. Alright, so... An energy generator. That's good. We're going to need more fuel, though. So... Let's build... So the other way you can build specific things like that is to build a factory... So we're going to build another factory here. And with that, we're going to be able to build some more fuel so that we can allow this energy plant to do its thing. And I wonder if it doesn't have power because it's not within the energy pylon. Yeah, that's part of the problem right there. All right. So we're going to do that too. All right. But we need more fuel so that this thing doesn't run out of fuel. So we need to get this energy by by building this energy pylon, the energy plant here, and what was in here, which is the energy generator, I believe it's called. Yeah, energy gen or fuel fabricator, and then we have energy generator here. Those are what are helping us fuel, or not fuel, but basically energize our fledgling commercial colony here. Looks like we're losing fuel at a pretty fast pace here. So we need to make sure we can take care of that pretty, pretty quickly. All right, so here, we're gonna go ahead and build, we're gonna pause, and a fuel fabricator, large, fuel tank. Here we'll do two of them, and then we'll also do one more. I forgot how you rotate these things. That's not how you do it. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Get away from, no, nope. cancel. Cancel, cancel. All right, so fuel, let's do a, a small one now. No, we'll do another large one. And it looks like R is to rotate, so we'll just rotate that way. There we go. All right. So hopefully we can get fuel set up and running before we run out. And if not, that's fine. We'll have it going really soon. As we start to lose energy because of our lack of fuel Get in here, get in here and build. Man, I will tell you what, the one thing that really bothers me about this game is the pacing. So even at three speed, I feel like everything takes forever. And that might be cool for some people. I know that some people like chiller games like this, but for me, it just, it's a bit of a turn off because it takes forever and I'm not a huge fan of forever. I don't have, I don't have forever. 
So I like things to move a little bit faster, and that is unfortunately not something this game does very well. So I'm hoping that either things become... <laughs> I love this. It's gaining power and it's losing power. Gaining power, losing it. Oh, yeah. Let's disable you for a second. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not. All right, cool. So here we go. We've got our fuel fabricator. So now we've at three... Which means I believe we can come back out and enable this turret now. Awesome. All right, good to go. So, we're going to click on the council building in the city view. Here we go. And we're going to spend credits to unlock trade with the council. There we go. And like I said, I've been through the tutorial for about 45 minutes now, maybe an hour at three speed. So it's kind of cut through some of the fat, some of the stuff that is very basic for this game, you know, which is building a lot of this stuff, kind of getting your infrastructure going. And I did all that in hopes of kind of getting to the point where you do some stuff that you're a little bit, it's a little bit different for a city builder like this or, you know, whatever you want to call this type of game. I guess the city builder is probably the closest way you could describe it. But it's got a lot of different things. Like I mean, like I've never seen a city builder where you're like going inside the buildings and manufacturing more to it. There's a lot of micromanagement in that regards, or in that regard. I'm hoping that some of that gets minimized as like you gain larger or you become larger and you know you gain more access to different things. Let me just see what we got here. Population conversion center. And voluntarily convert citizens into employees at a faster rate. Office generates credits quickly by employing idle citizens to watch ads. Hmm, that sounds good. Energy cost negative four. Right now we're plus seven with energy balance. So that would be something we could afford. And money's good. We're only earning credits at a three, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's do let's build an office. Why doesn't this have energy? Why wouldn't this have energy if we have energy pylons right there? Let me understand this. Why don't you have energy? That doesn't make any sense to me. So we'll put an energy pile. Oh, we need more minerals. So let's go ahead and request minerals from these guys. And then it looks like it should be within the energy pylon thing. I don't understand. Because look, it's here. It should be energized. There's more than enough energy being created. So I'm not sure why it doesn't have energy. And now this one doesn't either. That's incredibly strange to me. I'm not sure why it's doing that. Everything appears to be normal. So, <laughs> I'm getting a little annoyed. Maybe it's because I don't have... No, I don't know what it is. And I'm not going to try to figure it out. That's something that I should just be able to tell why without having to wonder why <laughs> actually no we'll go ahead and cancel this and we'll salvage the red artifacts yeah I don't, I don't quite understand why it's not energized neither of them are energized local storage no storage available energy pylon let's do can it updating it make it 
an issue. So now... Let's see if that helps. Alright, that might that helped for some reason. Okay. I'm not sure why, but it did. Alright, so now I believe we get a ship eventually, right? I feel like that's part of the game. We'll bring you guys in since we can. And here, we're gonna go ahead and claim this and assign an employee to it. Everything can be improved, Founder. Don't you agree? Revenue, employment contracts, buildings as well. Almost all of your buildings can be upgraded. Upgrading a building improves its functionality. Try it now, Founder. Your city is always in need of improvement. Alright, let's, um... I mean, I just did it, so let's just say we completed it. Energy pylon. Why are you outside the energy thing now? Huh, weird. Let's go ahead and upgrade you, because I feel like that's part of the problem, too. Yeah, I mean, my main complaints of this game really are that it's just pretty slow paced, right? Like, there's there's stuff to do, but it just feels like there's a lot of downtime. And downtime isn't fun. It's just not. Current employees, employee limit. How do I, in how do I increase my employee limit? Maybe if I... Nope, I don't know. I honestly don't know how I would do that. So, cool. Yet another thing that's not quite explained. Bug reporter, advisor window. Um. Help. Citizens and employees. Creating additional employees. Build a conversion capsule to create more employees. But what about increasing my... Yeah, I've got nothing. <laughs> oh, that's annoying. It's time for you to pursue a campaign again. There are several rebel campaigns. You can crush them all. Exploring the main territory. When we find rebels, send them packing. The council will be grateful nothing... Okay. Yeah. Some things quite aren't quite explained as they should be, in my opinion. Like, how the hell do I find rebel encampments? I've gone through the tutorial, like, step by step. Maybe I'll have to upgrade a building. I just did. To get it to, like, start over again. Rebel camps left. Well, what do I do about that? How do I get to them? See, because I feel, I kind of feel like I'm just like sitting now, right? Military command center. What is this going to do? Expands vision in the command area, allowing you to claim further land further afield. Is that part of it? Is that I need to start doing more of this? More claiming? Okay, so this is saying that I need more command centers. So I need isotopes in order to do that. So I will buy an isotope and I will build a command center. You can build it here.
What's full? Waste. All right, so let's go ahead and make some more waste receptacles. And then habitat pods. Those are for residents, right? Yeah. Wow. So the tutorial kind of sucks. I'm not going to lie. I still feel like I don't know much of what's going on. And it doesn't seem to be triggered in the right way. Like, I did what I was supposed to do. But now it's not triggering anything. So... I kind of want to build a second level to this so I can build more. It looks like I need more energy. So let's go ahead and upgrade it if I can. Nope. I need more isotopes. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to buy some isotopes. And we're going to upgrade this thing. Founder, have you built any buildings of the same type next to one another? As long as they are both the same level, you can connect them in the city view. Connecting buildings gives them, and however, connected buildings, this makes connected buildings in your city much more. Okay, so how do I connect them? Because there's a residential, there's a residential. So how do I connect them? I might need power before I can connect them. That's probably, that's probably it right there. Let's prioritize this. Yeah. Who boy, it could use some help with pacing for sure. It's really not a good let's play game, I don't think. That's part of the problem. <laughs> and I think there's a problem with that, honestly. Oh, come on, why can't I, why do I not have energy again? All right, let's go to level two here and we're gonna build an energy generator. A large energy generator. And what do we need from this? We need fuel, which we've got. And then it's going to be able to produce energy. Okay, so maybe that's part of the problem. Because again, yet again, this for some reason doesn't have energy. Next enemy attack. Let's see where we're coming from. Let's see if we got it. Not yet. All right, we need to prioritize this. Okay, come on. We're going to unassign this. All right, we're back to having power here, but now we don't have power there. What is going on? I don't understand. I don't understand this thing. This is frustrating as hell when I don't know why I don't have energy somewhere. I have all the energy in the world. Three energy. How many does this require? Four. Okay, that's part of the problem, right? So, there we go. Why isn't this creating energy? It is. So I should have a lot more energy. Energy generated. Nine. How is this not enough? 
All right, so let's do this. Let's. Can we connect them now? Now that they both have energy? No, I can't. Oh, I need two isotopes. All right. Now we can, right? Connect. There we go. I have plus 11 energy. This one... And that's because these are both off, I assume. Well, you know, this is... This is just poorly explained. Like, you have to go through and look through. I mean, that's fine, right? I know that some people are going to be fine with that. But when you're trying to learn a game, it's just way better if there's just more information provided. So I, you can find it. You just have to look really hard, which is frustrating. And I don't quite understand, like, the output. I feel like I'm creating more energy than I need. So I'm not sure why it's not working. So here we go, our, res our residentials are now connected, right? So I just built this new generator here. It's generating nine energy. And it's saying that it's not used at all. But that might be because I need a relay. So let's do that. We'll see if that's part of the the problem. Nope. Make it number uh, prioritized. Prioritize number two. Whatever. Make it the second most important thing we're doing. I'll learn this game yet. I will. <laughs> I'll figure it out. But like right now, the enemy attack. Like there's just so there's so much downtime in this game. It's it could be something special. It really could. But it's just with all this downtime, you start to get really kind of frustrated. So I'm hoping for more. I'm hoping for just something to keep the pace up a little bit. So once this relay is done, I should be able to. Then, all right, so the relay is done. So what takes it out of here? I remember there was something that takes like the energy out of this area. Industrial outlet, transfer energy between energy relay devices from inside buildings to energy pylon buildings outside. That is what it is. There we go. Prioritize. Let's see if that's going to help my situation here. There we go. All right, so 12. So now I should be able to turn this thing back on. Very good. And I still have eight. Surplus of eight. I don't know how that's possible because I didn't have any before. But whatever. I don't care. We're making progress now. So with the extra layer of intricacy and micromanagement definitely comes a learning curve that's a little bit higher than most I feel like in the tutorial like level stage I should be told stuff like that like hey by the way the only reason you have all this energy that's not being utilized because it's not being relayed right or something to that effect right but those are things that can be fixed in early access for sure And with you, let's go ahead and claim this and this. Isotopes would be great, so let's go ahead and assign. Let's go ahead and set no one to the minerals and get some of these. Got plenty of minerals, no isotopes. Let's make it happen. Cool. This one's out of energy again. This is beyond frustrating. 
It requires eight. I have 16 surplus. Why the hell wouldn't it be working right now? Energy status, zero out of eight. Offline. These are for the, yeah, okay. I can't, I can't do this. I don't know, I don't know why. I don't know why it's not. I have 16 energy. It is saying it requires eight. I know that this is pushing out like it's supposed to now with this industrial outlet. All right, everybody burrow. It won't let me burrow this, but that's fine. All right, founder. We're beginning to reach the limits of our territory and vision. To cut through the smog and see further, we need a command center. The command center will extend our vision range and expand the territory we can claim from the council. Once we build it, though, we better make sure it stays standing. If we lose our command center, faraway buildings will no longer be under our control. Build a command center now. Let's claim some more land. I already did that. Okay. Why is it glowing like this? Why is it doing that? I yeah, I'm I'm getting a little frustrated because it doesn't really explain to me. Like I, I I'm trying to figure these things out. I'm trying to like little by little figure out everything, but the fact that these keep going out of energy, I don't understand why. See now it says energy status eight. Eight out of eight online. That what is going on? What is taking away the energy from this place? And why am I glowing? Why is everything glowing? I hope I can figure this game out a little bit more. I'll, I will continue to play it and maybe figure out what it is that it's not doing well. Like what it's not um, explaining well enough. Any energy is stockpiled as backup. Hmm. Wonder if we should be using that. So maybe that's part of the problem is that we're like going in and out. And I wish I could figure out why this is all glowing like this. Stop it. Stop glowing. Nope, that's not it. Those are all good. Yep, it's not telling me what it is. I have no idea why it's doing this. The tutorial definitely needs to go faster. After you've completed things, it needs to happen. Like, right then and there. So, yeah, that's part of it. Is that I'm... I'm now storing energy. And I think that's going to help, right? But none of this is explained. It has not been explained to me at all. Anyway, so... This is the game. I'm not sure... Where it's supposed to progress. Like, I don't know how to get the rebel camps. I can't even imagine needing to invest like an insane amount of more time at this point considering that I feel like I've done absolutely nothing in the hour plus that I've played this game um, it feels too much like things are just working at an incredibly slow pace and that needs that needs to change right a hundred percent oh look you can do roads build transport raw oh wow okay so your cities can get that big huh that's pretty cool. So, yeah. I mean, I just feel like, at, at the very least, the pacing needs to be completely revamped. Just really solidly looked at, because 
I just don't, like I said, I don't feel like I've done much in the hour plus that I've been playing this game. And it just feels like busy work instead of fun. And that's not good. Because I, I see a fun game here somewhere. I'm just not sure where it is. And I, I think that a lot of it's going to start with the pacing. And I really wish I could figure out why this thing is glowing me. Glowing green like this. Flashing. Stop flashing at me. I need you to stop. Now, the one thing I'll say is that it's early access, right? And that they're a small team, so there's a lot of work to be done, but it's going to take a while. So I would suggest that if this game does interest you in any way, that you hold off for a little while. Because it's going to take a while to get to the point where I think this might be the game it needs to be, right? But, with that being said, there are some interesting elements here. You know, like with the micromanagement of building stuff within the buildings, that might be a turn off for some, but I think it's actually cool enough that it, it's, it keeps things fresh and exciting. And, you know, there there's some other, like, depth levels here as far as it goes to like connecting buildings and stuff like that, like just ideas that, you know, could end up being something cool. The rebels are still out there making their plans, oh. regrouping. Discover how they do we do this? They have us in their sights. If we don't take them out, if we expand our territory and spread our vision, remember, we can use command centers to extend our range of vision. Okay, so that's part of it, right? So I think that's maybe next. You know what? I'll probably play through offline. And get to a point where we're doing something that's a little bit outside the normal realms of a city builder. Like, clearly there are some interesting ideas, like I said, with the micromanagement stuff and being able to build stuff within the buildings. And the need for defensive turrets and all this stuff. And there's ships and stuff I know that come eventually. So, maybe we can play on a little bit. I will come back in a week or so to revisit this particular game I've got now. And maybe I have progressed to a point where I can show you some stuff that's a little bit different. So let's let's wait for that. In the meantime, thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry this is kind of bitching a lot, and I I don't normally do that. I I like I said I do think there's a good game here. It just needs to be flushed out, and I think that if you're looking for a game that changes things up, this could be it. But it needs it needs help before it gets there. So I love the aesthetic. I love the soundtrack. I love the dystopian vibe. There's a lot going for it, but we need we need <laughs> we need help so badly. So, hey, if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below. And like I said, I'll come back in a week or so after I've played a little bit longer and gotten us a bit further, and maybe even learned a little bit more. Maybe someone could help me understand why this thing keeps going offline. I, now that I've got this energy depot, it seems to be working out. So maybe it was just that I you know honestly I don't know. Maybe we were dipping below occasionally, and that's why it was going on and offline, and we needed a depot that whole time. So, anyways, stay tuned for the next episode eventually, if you guys want to see it. And until then, thanks for watching, guys. Keep exploring.